you have a very unique relationship with Coach Belichick. You became director of pro personnel under him when he was the head coach of the Cleveland Browns. Talk about your relationship with Coach Belichick. Well, you know, it was a, a situation where I retired in 90 and he was hired. And we had our first meeting and he asked me, if, you know, do you want to, are you going to play again? I go, no, coach, I think it's time. He said, well, I, I can use you as a player. I could use your leadership in the locker room. You know what it takes. But you know, I made that decision. But then I was fortunate enough to go to work for Bill. Bill does not get the credit. Well, I guess he is getting it now for the football knowledge that he has, the work ethic that he has, what his beliefs are. And I was able to sit there and learn from him for five years, you know, and he would push me in the areas and I'd be like, coach, I don't, I don't think, no, you got to do this in order for us to be a success. So I would say so much of what I have enjoyed being a general manager, I learned under Bill Belichick in those five years that we were in Cleveland. He gave me a foundation and that foundation has helped me to be where I am today. And Ozzy, but you paid it, but you, I look at what you've done. Uh, when I was in Baltimore, you had James Shaq Harris, director of pro personnel. You had uh, John Wooten. And you remember we the, uh, the veteran players sat in first class in front of the play. And me and Shaq, it was not, <laughs> you already know, it was not, there was not, gonna, no one was sleeping because we were going to talk and joke all the way back. Hey, you know what? I still have those conversations with Shaq now. You know, we, we talk, you know, once you know, once every couple of weeks. And, you know, he 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 loves those times. You know, he loves to be able to tell you, you know, he'll tell you, hey, Bill Russell needs to borrow one of your hands because he's got 11 rings, you know, <laughs> and just stuff like that, you know. But, yeah, I love it. But he was a great football man. And, you know, I talk about what Bill taught me. But having Shaq and Woot and then Phil Savage to work along with me in those first years, they helped me to learn because I needed to lean on some other people and they had the, uh, the experience and the expertise. You know, I love Shaq. You know, I love Shaq. And he'll always tell you, it's quicker by air. It's quicker <laughs> by air, Shaq. <laughs> That's him. Uh, let me ask you, the, the, the recruiting process or, or the, the free agency process in 2000, why did you think you needed me. I mean, you, there, are, there are other tight ends available. You didn't necessarily need. What was it about me, my playing style? Because I remember, I want you to tell the story and then I'm, I'm going to share another story. Well, you realize we got Ben Coach too that year. Yes. Am I correct? Yep. Well, then we needed both of you guys. And, and the, what we were going to be, it was you, Ben Coach, Jamal, Cadre, Pat Johnson, you know, so Jermaine we Lewis. were going to beat up people. And then we were going to try to strike, you know. Right. And so we needed you. You were going to be a mismatch guy, you know, because and Ben did all the dirty work. You know, yep. we know that. And he enjoyed it because he was getting a chance to play and win him another Super Bowl. So it, 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 the pieces just came together. But we needed someone that the quarterback could trust and they could trust you. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button to become an official member of Club Shay Shay where we always do something before two something.